Hey guys, this is Mike Omar from www.makemoneyfromhomelinesclub.com. In this video, I'm going to give you a straightforward explanation on how making money online actually works and how regular people are building passive income website portfolios. This video is brought to you by EpiPies Academy. I'll show you the exact process for how to build a website portfolio designed to make you $5,000 in passive income per month and the foundation principles for making money online. Before we start, I just want to let you know that everything I teach is 100% free. My entire course on making money online is on YouTube, so I'll never ask you for your credit card information or anything like that. It's all just free information. I simply made this video to clear the fog on how making money online can actually be done and to give you an understanding on how I've developed my own personal portfolio of websites. So you want to know how making money online actually works? To answer this question, let's first examine one of the most profitable companies in the world, Google. Google commands the most search engine traffic in the world and as a result is in a very powerful position. Why? Well, let's pretend that we're Nike. Because we're Nike, we want our website to rank number one for shoes. If we rank number one for shoes, we're going to get a lot of traffic to our website for people searching for shoes, roughly 42% of searchers. So let's write this down. At spot number one, we get about 42% of search engine traffic. If we're at spot number two, we'd get 25% of that traffic. And if we're at spot number three, this is all on average, by the way, on average, we would get about 10% of that traffic. After that, the numbers start to get pretty low. And you may as well not even exist on Google if you're on page number two of the search results. So the exact search item shoes is searched for roughly 1,160,000 times per month. So let's write that down too. Shoes. 1,160,000 monthly searches and I'll show you where I got that information later in this video if we Nike are ranked number one in Google and getting 42 percent of that traffic that's going to translate into about 487,200 visitors to the Nike website that are interested in the word shoes so spot number one 487,200 monthly visitors now Let's say we're at spot number three, only two spots further. That would actually be 116,000 visitors. So spot number three, oops, 116. What's going on? 116,000 monthly visitors. See, that's still a lot of visitors and therefore a lot of potential sales but it's much lower than if we were ranking in spot number one. And if we're in the top 10, we're missing out on a lot of action and our company will miss out on a lot of potential sales and therefore a lot of money simply because of our ranking in Google. And because Google controls where our website ranks, they're in a position of power. If they decide that Adidas is a more relevant search result for shoes than Nike is, Adidas will make much more money online than Nike does on the internet from people who work for, who are looking for the word shoes and Google has this power over every industry in the world. So how does that ranking power translate into money for Google? Well, if you ever search for anything in Google, you may notice that the top two or three results have a slightly different colored background. So let's type something into Google right now. Let's put in make money online. See, so you can see these top two or three results have the slightly different colored background. This means that these are paid search results. These top results are paid for by those individuals or companies so that their links can rank at the top of Google. Google is essentially a lead generator to lots and lots of people around the world spanning every industry. And whenever a regular searcher clicks on one of these paid links, the owner of that link pays Google for that click. And with millions of searches every single day, Google's pulling in a lot of money. So how does this information translate to regular people like ourselves making money online? Well, Google has a program called Google AdSense, which allows website owners to put those same paid links on their own websites. And when someone clicks on one of those links on one of those websites, that company pays Google, and then Google pays the website owner a portion of that money. So if you've ever been on one of these websites, you've probably noticed advertisements that look something like this, or maybe something like this on the sidebar. This is Google AdSense. So, you know, now that you understand a simple way that a website can make passive income, the next step is to figure out what to make your website about. To do this, we're going to do keyword research. See, many people, myself included when I was a beginner, go about trying to make money online in the wrong order. 
they have an idea and they build a website based on this idea and then later on they hope it pays off. It's gonna actually cause a lot of hours of work and a lot of frustration when the project never ends up making any money. It'll actually cause a lot of people to give up on their dream of making money online forever. So what's the correct order when trying to build a website that makes money? You gotta do your keyword research first. So what exactly do I mean by keyword research? See, Google provides the data for how many times every word, also known as a keyword, is searched for around the world on a monthly basis. If you go into Google and search for the Google Keyword Tool, you'll be able to look up any keyword you can think of and see how many times it's searched for on a monthly basis. This is where I got the data for shoes earlier. So I'm gonna show you that real quick. Let's go here, put in Google Keyword Tool. Click on the Google Keyword Tool here. And let's just type in how to make money online. Press search. And here we can see the global monthly searches for all these keywords. Give me money, make money for, make money at. Actually, when you're doing this kind of research, you wanna put in exact. And I'll go into the reasons why we do that later. But let's do this again. And you'll see work from home, 165,000. Online jobs, 135,000. Make money online, 110,000. And you have that data for all these keywords all the way down. How to make quick money, 6,600. 6, you can also look up the monetary value of every keyword. And yes, every keyword has a value. In other words, you can look up how much advertisers will pay Google on average every time someone clicks on a link and generates a lead for that keyword. That's known as a cost per click. And I'm gonna show you an example of that. Uh, there's a lot of free tools out there that you know give you the cost, of, uh, cost per click for every keyword. And I'm gonna show you one of the websites I like to use. It's called spyfood.com, but there are a lot of them. And let's just type in something like make money online. Type in make money online. The cost per click is 155. In other words, if someone types in make money online into Google and someone participating in the um, pay-per-click program that Google has, has their advertisement at the top for make money online, if that person were to click on that link, the person who paid for the advertisement would pay Google 155 for that lead. Now, if that same advertisement were on someone's website, the exact same thing would happen. That person would pay Google 155 for that click, but then Google would pay the owner of the website a portion of that money. And as you might have guessed, certain keywords are worth more money than others. This is because the payoff is much higher for some industries over others. Like a click for health insurance or buy a new car will be much more costly than hairbrush or white socks. This is because someone interested in buying health insurance or a car has the potential to spend a lot more money and therefore make someone a lot more money than someone who might be interested in buying a hairbrush or white socks. So why is this information important to someone who's trying to make money online? Well, with this information, we have some very important metrics related to a keyword. We have the average monthly searches, put it here, monthly searches. We also have the cost per click, i.e. the monetary value of a keyword. We also know what percentage of traffic a number one ranking in Google will bring on average. It's zero point, or it's 42%. We also know the percentage Google pays its publishers, i.e. the people who place Google AdSense on their website, and that is 68%. And we also know the average percentage of people that will click on a paid link from Google when they land on a website, assuming good ad placement, and this would be about 4%. So when we multiply all these numbers together, we can calculate the minimum amount of money a website can make monthly when it ranks for, for a specific keyword in Google. And I say minimum because Google AdSense is generally the lowest money-making method for monetizing a website online. It's just the easiest one to implement onto a website, so use it as a jumping off point. But later on in the video series, I'll teach you other monetization methods that can make you much more money with the same amount of traffic to your websites. So let's do an example. Let's pretend the keyword mountain bikes is searched for an average of 45,000 times per month and has an average cost per click of $1. So if that were the case, we would 
do this for the formula. 45,000 monthly searches on average times the cost per click, which is one, times 0 0.42, which is the percentage of people that will land on a website if it's number one, times 0 0.68, the percentage that Google pays its publishers, times 0 0.04, the amount of people that will click on an ad on average when they land on a website. So if you multiply all these numbers together, the amount you would get is 514.08 cents. In other words, you would earn about $514.08 per month in passive income if your website ranked number one in Google for mountain bikes and you put Google AdSense on your website. Google sends out checks to their publishers every month. So in that sense, it's truly passive. And if you were to monetize with something else like Amazon Associates, eBay Affiliate Network, uh, Commission Junction, or something else, your earnings could actually be much, much higher than that. So now that you can figure out how much money a keyword can make passively per month, the next step is to compile a list of thousands of keywords and figure out their monthly potential using the formula. And you probably want to get rid of any keywords that don't make at least, you know, $20 a month, something like that. And when you go to the keyword tool here, you can actually download all these keywords that you research onto Excel, and then within Excel, start organizing your entire spreadsheet. So I just want to give you a quick example of what one of these spreadsheets should look like, one of these downloads, but pretty much you download the document here, and it gives you the keywords here on the left-hand side, and then over here, the number of monthly searches, and then you fill in the rest, you know, you put in the average cost per click for the keyword that's the theme of the website. This one is pretty generalized, but you can get a lot more specific. But um, here's the cost per click, and then 0 0.42, 0 0.68, and 0 0.04. And then over here on the right-hand side, you actually have the formula typed out, and then you list it in order of which keywords are the most valuable. And these are the kinds of spreadsheets that you're eventually gonna to wanna to make a lot of. And these spreadsheets will eventually become the foundation for your website portfolio. They're going to be something for uh, something concrete for you to work off of. In the actual video series, I'm going to go over in detail exactly how to organize your keyword spreadsheets. And those spreadsheets are going to determine the anatomy of your websites and are going to be guiding the work you do to build your passive income website portfolio. Eventually, you're going to have lots and lots of those spreadsheets with lots of keywords each spanning several different topics. And those topics will be your different websites. So the final step to your keyword research is to do competition analysis. The goal here is to determine if ranking a keyword number one in Google can be done for a reasonable amount of work. That's done by checking the strength of the current top four ranking websites for each keyword on your list in the Google search results. So in this example here for make money online, we're going to ignore the paid ones and we would be paying attention to these top four results right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna determine the strength of those top four websites using their page rank. Page rank is a number assigned to a website by Google and can be, be, can be anywhere between zero and 10, with 10 being the highest possible rank. Google uses these numbers to give a rough assessment on how authoritative a website is. And generally speaking, websites with higher page rank will rank higher in searches for more keywords. And in the actual video series, I'll show you some free tools that you can use to determine the page rank of any URL on the internet. So what we wanna do is we wanna identify all the keywords on this list that currently have websites with low page rank at the top of Google search results. We wanna find keywords we can rank easily in Google. Essentially what we're doing is we're looking for low hanging fruit. And these keywords that we find that are easily rankable uh, we're going to highlight on our spreadsheet and those will become the foundation for our passive income website portfolio. So for example, we're doing keyword research one by one for all of these and we find out that Sell My Timeshare has really, really low competition. All the websites at the top of Google are really have really low page rank. We just take it and I like to highlight these keywords in blue. So I just highlight it in blue then keep doing the research and then say we get to how to sell Timeshare. Also find out that the competition is really low. Go over here, highlight it, make this one in blue. And once we've determined which keywords we can rank easily that make at least $20 per month, it's time to start building websites. 
These websites will be built with a, with a specific purpose of ranking in Google for their targeted keywords. And what we want to do is we want to build several websites that rank for several keywords each. Making these websites and getting, the, getting them to rank does take a little bit of work, but trust me when I tell you that it's worth the time investment. Once you have a website portfolio that is ranking for several keywords, that's when your potential to make money online starts to grow more rapidly. So why would having a website portfolio that's already ranking for several keywords actually increase your potential to make more money online? Well, let me explain. In this business, traffic and therefore earnings grow exponentially. Once you've got a post ranking for a specific keyword, you can start testing different monetization techniques in Google AdSense for that post. And generally you'll find that one of those techniques will pay a lot more than what you're currently making with Google AdSense. Also, once a, website, once a website is established in Google and Google trusts that website and is sending it regular traffic, it's actually much easier to grow that website and have Google send it even more traffic. And as the years pass, Google will send you more traffic to more pages on your website and each page you add to the website will be easier to rank than the, than the post you posted before it. So over time, you'll have more pages with more free traffic going to each of them and every page will be monetized in the best way. Not only that, you're going to find that more and more posts will rank for more keywords than you originally intended, and this will become true as your websites grow over the years. And beyond that, we've based all our calculations off of Google traffic. There are actually other search engines that obviously are not nearly as popular, but they still exist, and they'll be sending you traffic as well. And there'll be other sources on the internet that'll start sending your website traffic too, that we also didn't calculate in you know, into the whole formula, but you're going to get, be gaining those sources of traffic as well. So essentially what's happening is this business has a kind of exponential curve because you start getting more traffic from more places to your websites as you grow your websites over time. After the first six months or a year of growing your websites, the curve really takes off. When I say that this business has an exponential curve, this becomes especially true when you start outsourcing a part of your earnings and growing your websites on autopilot. See, every single step of the process that I've taught is something that can be outsourced. And once you establish a system where every part of the process is being done at all times, that's when you'll, that's when you'll see your traffic and therefore your earnings truly skyrocket. See, I've been investing a portion of my monthly earnings consistently to keep growing this business on autopilot for years. And, you know, that's the eventual goal of the whole process, to learn the whole thing, outsource it, and get it growing on autopilot. So now that you understand the overall process, maybe not all the details, those will come in the, in the, you know, in the actual series, but the overall process, what's the specific plan to make $5,000 per month in passive income? Well, the strategy that I like to to promote that I suggest is making 10 websites that each have a targeted goal of $500 each, $500 in passive income each, which, you know, once you, once you start doing the process of finding keywords and stuff, you'll find that that'll be on average between maybe 15 and 30 keywords per website. And the reason I really like this plan is because you're working with 10 different topics, you're working with 10 different websites, um, you'll see the growth patterns of every single one and you'll realize that this business can be, you know, somewhat rocky websites. Some perform better than others. Um, some, you know, topics perform better than others. Some topics are more social in nature. Some topics are more, you know, purely driven by traffic from Google. There's just a lot to learn about this business. But if you go through the whole process of building yourself 10 websites with each one having a goal of $500 each, you'll really, really start to understand the business uh, the way you need to to continue to grow it. And then from there, you can, you can take everything you've learned and go whatever direction you want. You know, some people choose to focus on just a handful of sites and grow them into these monster sites that make tons and tons of money by themselves. Other people just choose to stick with these small sort of niche sites and, make, and keep building more and more of them. You know, once you build these 10 websites, you can grow your best earners to have more and more posts. Or you could decide to make 
10 more similar websites and just leave the original 10 alone. Like what you do is up to you. When you stop is up to you. That's why, that's why, you know, the amount of money you can make online is really limitless. In fact, like so many things in life, making money online at, at the core of it is a numbers game. Essentially, you know, more websites plus more posts will equal more traffic, which equals more money. You know, that's the foundation of how making money online actually works. That's how it actually works. Also, for additional help, I have live example websites of everything I teach uh, linked to from my main website. If you're at my main website here, makemoneyfromhomelinesclub.com, and you scroll to the bottom, you'll see a bunch of sample websites of everything I teach down here. And as I continue to grow my own business, I'll continue to link to those websites uh, from my main website so you guys can you know, look to it and learn from it, whatever you need. And then there's actually one more thing I wanted to add regarding my YouTube video series. See, the thing that I find the most exciting about the action plan that I teach is not even necessarily the income level you'll accomplish if you follow through, but the invaluable knowledge you'll gain in the process. The skills you'll learn in this series will enable you to build all kinds of online businesses and open the doors for all kinds of entrepreneurial projects you may have. You'll be able to evaluate business ideas much more intelligently once you've gone through this whole process. You know, you'll understand the fundamentals of keyword research and analysis. You'll understand traffic and lead generation, uh, social and affiliate marketing, monetization, testing, conversion testing. You'll understand traffic analysis. These skills that you'll learn in this series will help you immensely in any business you ever decide to start. That could be online or not, that could be passive or not. There, it's, it's unbelievably exciting to learn this kind of stuff because it'll open the doors to a lot of projects you may have had on your mind and it'll actually encourage a lot of those types of projects too because you'll start thinking more in this way. Learning this kind of stuff has changed my life entirely. There's no doubt about it. Not only that, but when I recorded this series, I really recorded it with uh, a complete beginner in mind. There's no prior experience required, and in fact, you actually don't have to know any coding at all, or you ever have to learn it. I actually don't know any programming myself. Um, I built this entire my entire website portfolio with WordPress, and WordPress doesn't require any coding knowledge. So in this series, you know, all the instructions are completely detailed. They're completely step by step, so anyone can follow them. And the entire YouTube video series is completely free. It's 100% free. So if you want it, it's there. So now that you understand why I'm so passionate about what I teach, and now that you understand the basics of how making money online works, the next thing to do is to take action and make an actual concrete step towards building an online income. See, every time you sit in front of your computer and you sat down with the purpose of building your passive income streams, Make sure that by the time you get up, something real got accomplished instead of the usual, which is people reading about how to make money online, but not actually doing anything. So with that in mind, I'm going to give you a first assignment and it's to build a website. It should only take you about an hour or two and it should actually be very easy to do because we're going to do it using WordPress, which means you don't need any code to actually build one. So, you know, if you're watching on YouTube, you just go to lesson 1.1. Or if you're on my main website, the way to find it is you go here to action plan, go to part one and scroll down to 1.1 and you start here and the YouTube video is here anyway. But pretty much the idea behind this first website, it's not necessarily what your website is about because the purpose of this assignment is for you to learn how to get a website up and become comfortable with the process and also to realize just how easy it is to do. Um, you know, it'll get you fired up to continue with the rest of the lessons. And a lot of times when you're trying to build an online business like this, absolutely everything is about maintaining a forward momentum. If you don't have any ideas for what you should make your first website about, a fun first project could be to make a website advertising your new side business, which could be making websites for others. You know, because once you're done with these first three lessons, you'll pretty much be qualified to build fairly basic but professional looking websites. And that's actually one of the things I did when I first learned how to make a website on WordPress. I started advertising my freelancing services on Craigslist and I would post every single day 
And back when I was doing this, I would charge about $500 each and I would get at least two to three projects a month and it really helped me out to just make some side income. Um, if that's not something you wanna do, another idea is you could make yourself a blog about you know, your favorite hobby or you could even make a blog about your, your, your journey of trying to make money online, like this whole process you're about to get started right now. Those are pretty fun projects too. Um, they actually keep you committed to like moving forward and those those kinds of websites can actually make you money later on depending on you know what happens with those websites uh any blog that ends up generating generating a lot of traffic or develops a loyal readership can actually make a lot of money in the future once once a blog has traffic or regular readership there's just a ton of things you could do with it so go ahead and watch lesson 1.1 and get your first website up If you have any questions about the process I described in the video, uh, feel free to ask them and I'll be happy to answer them. If you like this video, please like it and please share it with people. Um, I also recommend that from my main website, you sign up to my weekly newsletter. There's information in my newsletter that I don't have anywhere else, so definitely sign up for that. Um, if you want to add me on one of the social media networks, you can add me right here. Um, you can add me on any of them, but really I use Facebook, Google Plus, and YouTube more than Twitter. Um, also, if you're on my website, you can read my story. It kind of explains like how I got started in this business, how it all happened. Um, you could read the about the website, which is which you know is basically an FAQ for the website. It just answers basic questions about what I suggest you do, how I suggest you approach the whole business. Um, you could. Over here is the resources tab. This is basically all the resources that I've come across to help me build my online business. So you can definitely check that out. Required reading. Required is not required. It's just my favorite books. I just like to title it that. But yeah, if you want to read some of the same books that have inspired me or some of my favorites, you can click here. Inspiration is some inspirational blogs you can read about, some of the famous ones that have become big over the years. And you know, that's pretty much how you would navigate my website. The action plan, the entire thing is over here. Just go through this whole process. You'll start learning. And if you want to learn my entire process uh, in book form, you, the entire process I showed in this video is right here and how to make money online. But, you know, it's all free on my website anyway. This is just for people who would like to read it. And I also have this other book on how to start a blog, which is a lot of the similar principles I spoke about today but an overall different strategy. But you know, they're still connected. I actually have websites that you know go based on this strategy here and some that go on this strategy here. So essentially my portfolio is made of both kinds of websites. So you can check those out. And also feel free to contact me. You know, send me an email telling me who you are, why you're interested in making money online, and what your online income goals are. You know, I love meeting my readers and talking to them, and I'd be happy to help you find success in any way that I can. So you can contact me through my contact page here. And that's it. Thank you for watching, guys.